I just want to clarify that I am a fan of all Dragon Ball media, including every Dragon Ball series, whether it's canon or not. Already know GT is widely considered the black sheep in the series, and yes, while it's not perfect, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, and Super are also not. I personally think that the different pros and cons of each of these series is what makes them distinct, thus making them interesting. I like Dragon Ball, I like Dragon Ball Z, I like Dragon Ball GT, and I like Dragon Ball Super. Just wanted to throw that out there. Dragon Ball Fighters is the most recent Dragon Ball game I've actually had a lot of interest in since its reveal at Microsoft's E3 conference. Xenoverse wasn't my cup of tea, so I just sat back and played the Budokai series as well as Tenkaichi. Near its release, there was this amazing mock-up fan art piece by someone on Twitter who drew Super Saiyan 4 Goku in the game, and I was mesmerized at how legitimate this looks. The thought of Super Saiyan 4 Goku being in the game just had me excited for the possibility. I'd want it to happen, and yes, while Bandai has said some things to troll GT fans, deep down, I still think that they do care for that side of the community, and the game's not called Dragon Ball Z Fighters or Fighter Z, it's pronounced Fighters, but the Z is emphasized because Dragon Ball Z is what the Dragon Ball series is mostly known for. But yeah, I still think they care about that side of the community, which brings me to my point. This isn't the first time we've seen GT characters in a Dragon Ball Fighter. There's Budokai 3 in Infinite World, though I like to call Infinite World Budokai 4, and the Tenkaichi games. Sure, people have their opinions and whatnot, and that's cool, but if characters from Dragon Ball Super are in this game, and with just how passionately accurate this game is to its original source material, I don't see a problem with GT characters being in the game. Now, the characters I want to see personally are Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Gogeta, Maju, Pan, Baby, Super 17, Omega Shenron, and maybe, maybe GT Trunks. I don't know what they could do with him since he doesn't have a sword, so I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't make it in the wave of GT characters DLC. But yeah, that's my two cents of why I think GT characters can work in fighters. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.